the 911 supervisor on the line, okay? All right, thank you very much. No problem, sir. Hello? Good evening. How can I help you? Yes, uh, hello. May I have your ID number, please? 057. 057? Yes. Okay, um, I called 911 because one of the uh, Prince George's County officers threatened me uh, while I was out recording. Okay, I was walking down the street from my recording and while he was coming to the call, I guess one of the firemen called him. He got on his walkie, his mic, and began calling my name out on Riggs Road to this call. I requested a supervisor uh, and the young lady told me that one was being sent here. When this officer left out of here, he said he called back and had them re counseling. All this is being recorded. Uh, I just got off the phone with Internal Affairs of Prince George's County, which I will be filing a complaint Monday, but I will still love a supervisor to come down here to this address. Okay, what was the address? It's uh, 7833 Riggs Road. And, I, and they refused to give me their names uh, one of them was sitting down here, uh, sitting in the 7-Eleven, and I caught him just sitting in the 7-Eleven. He's the one telling the fireman, oh, he's going to get locked up anyway because he got a mask on. Don't threaten me with an arrest when I'm not breaking the law. What's your last name, sir? Huh? Your last name? I, uh, I don't get. They know who I am. I, I they know exactly know who I am. Your phone number you're calling from? I don't give that out. Either. I, you have it. Okay. I, I'll you, have an officer come out and meet with you. All right. No, I need the supervisor. I don't want one of these yes, same clowns. Yeah. I'll okay. Have the police supervisor come out. All right. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh -huh. I appreciate Bye. it. Bye. This is how you got to do. He gonna tell me he canceled my call to a supervisor. And they sent right there in the doorway right there. All right, we're at this, this firehouse right here where we was at the other day. And as you saw, we got more police cars sitting in the back back there. We got one of the clowns in here, not one of the other heroes, but one of the clowns went and called 911 uh, because I was back there recording. So they called the officer that was sitting down there at the 7-Eleven. You saw when I was walking back, he was coming out of there with his little partner. The one in the unmarked car while coming down Riggs Road was calling my name out over the walkie-talkie in his car. This is the unprofessionalness of these clowns they have on their police force. Then when I called 911 to get a supervisor because I asked them to get me a supervisor, they refused to. And I'm pretty sure in their protocol, they're supposed to, when a citizen asks for a supervisor, to get one. I didn't see that other police car come out of this, this thing. And he probably hiding it. I don't know how he got out of it unless he drove over the, the bank or something. But it was two of them back there. I don't think he'd get out of here but one way. But I don't recall him driving out right here. He going to black dude. It's always a female or a black officer individual want to prove that they are so superior. This is Prince George's County Firehouse. As you heard the other day, it's a public area. Okay? It's always a shackle nigga that want to come out and try to act like he's somebody.
Yeah, yeah, get, I'm, I'm down here now. All right, they, they're calling the supervisor, so we're waiting for a supervisor to come down here. Always trying to scare somebody with that threat of lockup, and it is a threat. You know, that's, it, it, anytime one of these officers threaten you with talking about they're going to lock you up, file a complaint on them because they just threaten you to take your liberties away from you illegally. And that's a threat. All right, here go, here go another one coming down here. Let's see if this is supervised. This is car 6115. I think it's the same guy that came the other day. How you doing, Corporal Gary Allen? How you doing? If I get your name and badge him again, sir. It's Corporal Allen, ID two seven seven seven. Okay, can I get the again? Get, can I get the call numbers for this? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not active sergeant today, but the active sergeant's not available. They sent you over here, though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, uh, would you need the case number for this call? Hey, yes, sir. Hey. This is the sergeant. This is the gentleman that came down. That was down there. Uh, This is ridiculous. What's up, man? This is the, the corporal that came down to Langley Park for the other individual. All right, Mr. Corporal Allen, this is what happened. Came down here the other day. Uh -huh. You got a couple of police cars sitting back in the back. Okay. Okay. And, right and now? Yeah, county cars, unattended. Okay. I came back here the other day and recorded and put them on my YouTube channel. I came back today to see if these cars were still back here. They're still sitting back there. You got one of your cars with a notebook in it. Still sitting back there. Okay. okay. Still sitting back there. Are you talking about parked or are you talking about they're, in the back, all the way in the back near the pumps? No. They, you want to go back there? This is a public area that they don't understand. I'm going to show Mr. Allen what's going on. You know, so 
I come back here today to see if these back here, these taxpayer vehicles still back here. They're still back here. So I started recording them. Um, I'm assuming one of the firemen, I, the other day I came here, I talked to the firemen. This is a public, this belongs to Prince George's County government. It's a firehouse, it's a public area back here. So I start, I start recording. You got undercover cars back here, you got county cars back here, and you got these two police cars that they were sitting here the other day, a week ago, still sitting here. You talking about the ones that, okay. Okay. Okay, that one right there has got the notebook in it. Okay. Okay, I come back here and I recorded it again. Okay, okay the gentleman in here, I, I know this is public error, I'm filming him. He calls the police. I catch one of your officers sitting down there at the 7-Eleven. Okay. And when he sees me, he runs out talking about, oh, I'm helping the citizens. Okay, on camera. Okay, okay. okay. I ain't got no problem with that. I, I, I walk around, catch them not doing their job. So when I see him come here, he comes into here, an unmarked car with a uniform officer in it, gets right down there where that 139 junction is right there, uh, calls my name out over the radio okay. as he riding down Riggs Road. So I come back here, they both sitting right here, uh -huh. and I ask him, what's your name and your badge number, officer? The one that called my name out. Uh, I don't have to give you, I'm not inter interacting with you. This is your call, you, you call, I know what they was called for. Mm -hmm. Okay, I told him, I need your name to go. I'm going to internal affairs. It's on my recorder, just like the other one happened down there. He refused to give me his name. I said, call your supervisor. Okay. He said, he ain't calling nobody. I'm not interacting with you. I'm not calling nobody. Same thing with the other one that I caught down there. said the same thing. So I called 911. I spoke to the young lady. She said, okay, I'm writing it up. I'm going to send a supervisor to you. Okay. He got ready to leave out. The one that called my name out on the street right there, he got ready to run out of here, says, oh, you can leave, Mr. Moment. Ain't nobody coming. We canceled your call. I'm calling about you. How can you cancel a call when a citizen asks for a supervisor? He's stupid enough to do it on camera. And he going to internal affairs. You know, same situation, sir, but I mean, there's got to be somebody over these these clowns y'all got out here in the I mean, street. No, these guys, those, people are working out on my on my squad. So oh, okay. Well, what's the name of the person? That, he wouldn't give me his name. They tell me they, said, they. We don't have any unmarked work. We have overtime units that are working in my. No, no, no. Y'all got an unmarked black car. You said he was working. Yeah. Okay, it might have been he, an overtime unit. He was in but, uniform. But I can't advise you. Those cars. We're authorized to park at fire stations. I, 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 I know the officer told me the other day, but that should be illegal. It should, I, I know he said because they live out of the county or whatever, okay. but it has nothing to do with y'all. It's about people above y'all allowing this. These are our cars. We pay for these cars. They shouldn't be sitting here. They should have bodies in them patrolling the area. Okay. If they can't have, a, if they can't take their car home, they shouldn't have one. Okay. You know, but I, these two clowns that came here, I'm calling internal affairs. I just want to make sure when I ask for a supervisor, one should be dispatched to me, sir. Yeah, there was. There was only one call for it. I no, no, no. This I, I had this call again. Oh, really? Okay. Because he told me when he drove out of here, while I got the camera on, he said, Mr. Moment, you can go because we canceled that call. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, he, and I called Internal Affairs uh, and informed them that I would be contacting them Monday uh, about these two. The other dude, I ain't worried about him. He, I mean, I understand he had bad days, the one down there, but... It's, it's, it's got to be some kind of training for these these clowns they got here now. You know, they, they have no professionalism about them. And somebody need to tell them, this is Prince George's County. It's a government entity. It's public. He gonna tell me it's private. Are we gonna lock you up as private? Pri yeah, okay, lock me up. And I'll sue the shit out you. Okay, so the one that said he was gonna lock you up, was he in uniform? Both, both of them. They were in uniform? In uni one had a marked car. Yeah, the other the, one was in a black unmarked car. Do you remember the number of the car that was marked? I got it right here. It'll be on my YouTube channel. Uh, what's your <laughs> YouTube channel name? NOJ News 1. NOJ News? 1. Okay. Yeah. It'll be on there. And, and Internal Affairs will be getting a contact. I, I'm going to put it all in the complaint. But the problem is, he was sitting right there. And I'm pretty sure if you go back up there to that park, they sitting down there in the park. Or on the left? Yeah, on the left. I was on my way down there because I've caught several of your officers sitting down there. I was on my way there. But I said, let me stop over here and see if they moved them cars over there or they were back here again. And sure enough, they're back here again. And I was recording them, but going up to them. And I don't know, this guy, he called. 
Because he said uh, if he do anything, uh, the one with the mall car talking about, he going to get locked up anyway. That's a threat. You taking my liberties away from me and you threatening me when I'm not committing a crime. He said you're going to lock because he got a mask on. Come on, man. Come on. Stop the bull. What did you think you could do that to everybody around here? It's going to lead to a bigger lawsuit. Tacoma Park learned in the hard way. So, you know, I hate to see him lose his job because I'm pretty sure when you start getting enough lawsuits on them uniforms and the people, they start getting rid of you. So stop trying to threaten people with locking them up when they ain't doing nothing illegal. Mm -hmm. okay, well, I mean, everybody on our shift should be aware we... Come on now, a little bit. Well, these two ain't, because I, I know the little fat one in the car. I know I can't place him, but I'm going to go back and look at my recording. He going to call my name out. We started way down there, Sergeant. I'm going to call you Sergeant Gardner. But way down there, he called... On the radio in the unmarked the car. Loudspeaker? Yes. Oh, wow. While he driving this way. You'll be able to see it on my YouTube channel. I say, you got to be dumb. You got to be dumb to even say you're going to cancel a citizen call after they make 911. Mm. Mm. So we're going to see what internal affairs say. Because I'm going I'm to file a complaint on these two. Um, I appreciate you coming again. I'm sorry they keep having that, you know. Oh, no, it's my job. No, you professional. <laughs> I, I give you that. They definitely need to give you that other strike uh, and put you out here. I'm done, done my 20, sir. I'm on my way out. No, don't go, man. We need officers like you out here. Uh, hey, but I don't know if you got... Who runs the fire department? I have no idea. This is a volunteer uh, spot. Yeah, so. but it's, it's still Prince George's County. Yeah, yeah, but... It's and it's, not, it's somebody need to explain to them that it's public. Okay. It's not private. I mean, people sitting here all the time. It's yeah, he... he I, I don't know. It was a... It's us, one of us. Always want to insert ourselves on us. I mean, I don't walk on no private property. I know who's private and who's public. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to break the law. I'm not going to do none of that. But I, I would love to speak to the chief okay. at, at the head man in charge in there if he in there. Uh, you might have to check with the online to figure out how to do a complaint through the fire department. I'm not aware of how they do their complaints. Oh, okay. No, I, I, thought it, I thought it was, you know, same kind of situation. That's the guy right there that called the... Uh, the Police on me right there. Hey, yo, chief in there? Look at it. Look, dirt. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm, I'm gonna cancel this one right here. Y'all stand by.